hello guys so in today's tutorial we learn how to implement google maps pro extension in your apps so let's get started first let me show you the community link here's the extension it has a lot of features more than the built-in component over 279 blocks wrapping all the possible functions of google maps uh, for ai2 and its distros so first of all just drag it and we'll put a horizontal arrangement or vertical arrangement is also good so when screen one initialize we'll just simply there are two options if you want to initialize it with a legacy renderer you can use this function otherwise you can directly use the load map function and pass the arrangement here and for kind info you have to put your own google maps id that you can get from google cloud console you have to put it right here yeah so we'll first load the map on screen initialization and once it is loaded it is a map ready uh, event it will be triggered when the map has been successfully loaded so when the map is loaded we'll perform our functions for example here you can add a marker yeah so in the id input you have to provide a unique integer based id let me take it one here and for latitude we have to give our latitude So let's just get a dummy latitude. You can provide the input in both textual and in integer based form it will be casted automatically to uh, an integer here's the latitude and about lang longitude we'll just copy it and paste it right here and for the image section there are a variety of types available for example you can just uh, pass the default azure marker image default blue marker image default cyan marker uh, marker image default green marker image magenta orange red rose violet yellow and lot more and if you wish to use a custom image as uh, for the marker you can just let me find that block it's about circle distance between ground overlay get microphone and yeah so to pass a custom image we have 
to either we have two options either to just uh, pass that property blocks here or to just pass it as a string with a set name for example image dot png you can pass both of those for example if you want to use the default marker you can use the default marker here otherwise if there exists uh, an asset an asset image then you can simply put its name here in the block yeah and once we add the marker it will be displayed right on the map second thing we have to do is to just look at the marker functions mm. so you can extract the current latitude of marker right here you can set the latitude of the marker same for the long longitude here is for alpha z index rotation marker title for example let me set the here in the input for id you have to provide the id you provided at the time of add marker so and in the title my location here we set the marker title and if you want if you wish to add a subtitle you can simply use the function for set marker snippet and same procedure here too we have pass id and you are here it would be the subtitle and if you want to show the marker info window from your own site then you can use this function on any of your logic for example let's say a button click here is the draggable state of marker uh, if it is enabled the marker can be used like a location picker for example let me show you there's an event for it marker dragged marker drag ended marker drag started these three are the events you can simply use to just uh, build a location picker using google maps and for example if marker drag ended then what will you do is to for example let's say we have a global variable named lat and to get the longitude lng by default we'll put its value as zero and here to so when the marker has been dragged and is in a stable state we'll just use this function to get the current latitude and longitude of the marker here it is get marker longitude get marker latitude so we'll simply set the global latitude and longitude right here because they are updated just after this event or if you uh, if you change its position from the blocks itself so we'll pass the id here as one same for the next part here it is two one so this is for a location picker and about the other blocks there are for alpha marker rotation marker title marker snippet it will display in the window info window of the marker and there is also an event for it marker long click marker click drag drag ended point and click marker info window long clicked closed and clicked these are the events related to the info window of the marker so and let's see about the other blocks 
this is uh, same we discussed about it set marker flat it sets if the marker is flat or not it's simple to use for example if you set it to true the marker will be flat and moreover uh, for every block there's a description written you can just hover your mouse and the description would be shown to you it is about flat and you can also set it visible or invisible it can be used to just show marker info window and this will return a return true if the marker window is currently being shown this function is important if you want to remove the marker after performing your logic you can use it at uh, at any of your events or any of your logic so that's all for the part one about markers if you wish to buy the extension you can contact me from the link mentioned below in the description thanks for watching